Hello everyone. Welcome back to our Simplicity Python scripting video series. This is part two where we will take our basic Python scripted script we created in part one and run it through the event manager. So in part one, we created a simple Python script that called the simplicity log status function when we called the test function and we called that from the debugger uh, using the do test uh, call. So now what we're going to do is use and take advantage of the event handler state class to be able to call this function whenever the event is triggered. Whenever an event is triggered, the do action, do event action is called. The do shutdown and the init functions are used uh, to initialize or clean up parts of your code. Init call is called the first time the event and action are executed. Subsequent executions will not call init until the EMRP is restarted, at which time init will then be called the first time again. The shutdown call will be called whenever EMRP is restarted, shut down, and restarted, or every time you reload a script in the event manager using the update button after you change a script. So to demonstrate that, I have put a log status in the init function and in the shutdown function, so we'll be able to see how that works in the status log. What we'll do now is demonstrate how the methods inside of the event handler state class get called and at what times. So to demonstrate that, we're first going to declare a variable called event count, and we're going to set it to zero. So this is declared at the class instance level. So for every event action pair, this will initialize to zero when EMRP starts up. In the event action function, which will get called, as the comment suggests, whenever the action is triggered, event action is triggered, we're going to increment event count by one. And then we're going to call our test function. And we're going to just leave it what it says here. I'm going to purposely not put in the wrong thing here to show you how you can debug when things go wrong when running inside of EMRP. And so we're just going to save this. Now we'll go into our uh, event editor. And you can see that I've created an event that triggers off of this PyScript trigger. We're going to put that in the point control panel so we can trigger the script. And then we have created an action to run whenever that trigger happens. And it's going to run our demo Python script.py, which we've been working on. So we want to, uh, now that we've saved our script, we're going to use this update button to update the EMRP so that it uh, uh, will pick up our new script so you can see it shut down the uh, the previously running uh, script. And now we're going to re-trigger that script to see what happens. So we set this, we toggle that. You can see over here that it gives us a message that there's an error in our script. And it refers us to macemrp.error so that we can uh, go figure out what errors happen. So we're going to go into the status log, macemrp.error. And you can see that our most recent error says that on line 17, uh, we've got an issue. Event count isn't defined. So we didn't. we need to fix that up. So we're going to go back to our script editor and we're going to use the self event count and we're going to use that instead and that should fix this up. So again, we're going to save, go into our event editor, reload the script. You see that event called again called shutdown. And now when we trigger this new script, this should properly increment that value. You can see that it called the init because this was the first time EMRP was loading that event script, um, event action sequence, and it uh, incremented the count by one. Now, every time we trigger, it should 
continue to increment. So let's see if that happens. So that goes to two, trigger it again, then goes to three, etc. So it is inc calling the do event action every time that event happens. Now uh, we can see that we've triggered every part of this uh, event handler state init right after event uh, manager starts up and we get instantiated the first time every time the event action sequence triggers and finally when em emrp shuts down we clean things up and allow you to clean things up